Um, good luck with that. Yeah, I this is know. cute. Yeah. Cool. Look one back. That's, that's it. Enough. That's it. Biscuits now. Come here. Mommy Macy suggested you should try this. Hello everyone, my name is Aka and welcome to my channel. While editing this video, I realized that it was important to provide some context to the video. So in the video that you watched before this, you saw my children go to the mall to go and buy snacks with 100 kwacha. On the way out, we ran into a situation that was not very ideal. It's not a nice situation. Well, we encountered a very rude and just mean person. So in this video, you will see how I react to that situation. So the children and I were walking to the car and this security guard made this very rude and just mocking sort of comment. And my reaction to that was just to tell him how unwise that comment was and how he should know better. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> Was a camera nice? Was a camera nice? Hmm, your manners are your machines. Come up, that's in bars. One on to a feet among Bokanga, my comment. You have a Chinese woman. Ah, we show it. We show it. We change the shop. I'm full of one, say, sure. I think I've gone and so on. Rude comment. Look at this. Can I explain what happened? Why are we so mad? Just when we were about to enter the car. Mm -hmm. What what was what were we talking about? And I said wow. I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. Mm, I just said wow and this rude man had to say mm, wow Vicha. Meaning wow what? What are you saying wow yeah. about? This is a guard. He works at the mall, a guard. And the, the, the body language they were giving was just like a disgusting vibe. Like. Mm -hmm. So if you know me in real life, you know I am not a confrontational person. I enjoy peace. I enjoy having peace with everyone around me. And I try not to be someone who creates an environment that puts other people in a situation where they have to be combative. So I'm a peaceful person. I'm very kumbaya. And after I had children, I realize just how important it is as a parent to be a role model so the way you behave is actually how you're modeling your children to behave as well so in this situation i had to be very tempered with my approach because if i started screaming and shouting and using profanities that would tell my children that that is the way in which i expect them to behave as well so i reacted in a way that I hope my children will, would act as well if something like that happened. And not really go into crazy mom mode. I do have the capacity to do that. Or I have the capability to act in that way if the need arises. I think all of us have the ability to act like crazy people and just be totally unreasonable and crazy and inappropriate. But we always have to make the choice to always try and be the better person in every situation so by reacting this way i'm hoping that my children will see how i react and also act like that i'm very much like my dad we're just very calm people i'm not taken to extreme emotion so you won't see me being extremely happy and animated or extremely sad i'm just in the middle <laughs> as you may have noticed even from my videos i'm not like overly hyper because that's just not my personality this is how i am in real life i'm just this level of calm person so you want to be ecstatically happy or depressingly sad or screaming and shouting i don't do that i'm very i'm a practical person i think before i act well usually <laughs> but yeah generally i think first and then act so it's not easy to get me so rattled that you hear me shout or scream or act in a manner that is very much 
out of character it's just not how i am so yeah in this video you see how i handle this situation and how my children handle it as well in life you encounter situations where there aren't uh, some people are not very nice or very reasonable and you just have to equip yourself and your children with the knowledge that these negative behaviors that people exhibit in most cases it's more about them than you so you really should be feeling sorry for people who are out there acting crazy and inappropriate rather than being angry because for someone to act in that way something must be really wrong in their heart deep down somewhere so yeah this is the encounter that we had and this is how I handled it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, don't forget to like, to comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're growing steadily and I'm so happy that we have organic growth with people who are invested in this channel and who enjoy watching me and, and the children and our lives and are willing to support us by subscribing as well as commenting and of course liking and sharing those that's very important it's important for you to engage and for for us to have these conversations and dialogues so in the comment section please let me know how you would have handled the situation if this had happened to you also comment if such a thing has happened to you as well because i know the world is not perfect we have a lot of broken people who do very um horrible and mean and unkind things and say inappropriate things and so these are realities of life that our children need to be made aware of and i think it was a privilege for us to have this situation happen because the children saw how i reacted and hopefully they will emulate that and try and be more tempered in their response rather than just flying off the handle and becoming belligerent and abusive yeah thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next one bye